factors are not repeating here we can express it in the form of a by x minus 2 plus b by x minus 3 the circle is passing with the same center they are concentric circles that means the center is same only the constant changes must be equated to 0 to find the value of x express this rational function as two simple fraction then integrate it separately everyone a warm welcome to one and all this is your shruti ma'am lecturing in vidyashram the temple of excellence mysuru in our previous session we were discussing about the model question paper prescribed by the pre university board of karnataka we have discussed part a and part b question in this session i'll be continuing with part c question that is three mark question so again let's see the pattern of your question paper so you will be having five parts carrying one two three five and ten mark question so in this session i'll be taking part c of three marks question again here also the number of question that is set on the question paper is 18 here you have to attend only 10 questions from 18 question now let's solve the model question paper now so these are the part C question asked in the model question paper. So one question from matrix. So one question from determinants and one question from permutations and combination. One question from the chapter probability. One question from binomial theorem. One question from partial fraction. One question from mathematical logic. One question from ratios and proportion one question from bill discounting, one question from stocks and shares, next one question from trigonometry, one question from the chapter circle, one question from the chapter limits and continuity. So you will be having one question from maximum continuity from the chapter limits and continuity of the function. Next you have two questions from the chapter derivatives, then one question from the chapter applications of derivatives. So you will be having two questions from the chapter integrals, definite integrals. Sometimes they will give you one question from definite integrals and one question from indefinite integrals. So these are the questions you can expect for three marks question chapter wise. So let's solve these questions one by one. So the first question is if matrix A is 2 minus 1, 1, 4, b is minus 3 2 minus 1 4 then prove that a b whole dash is equal to b dash a dash so this is a problem related to the transpose of a matrix so to prove a b whole dash b dash a dash first we need to find out a b that is the product of these two matrices so that results in minus 5 0 minus 7 8 take the transpose of a matrix and represent it as a equation 1 next find a dash that is transpose a then find b dash that is transpose b again multiply b dash into a dash do not take it as a dash into b dash multiply b dash into a dash from these equation 1 and 2 conclude the statement that a b whole dash is equal to b dash a dash hence to find a b whole dash to write the transpose of a dash b dash and to find b dash a dash in concluding the statement you will be having three marks so the next question is solving the simultaneous linear equation to find the values of x and y by Kramer's rule. So write the coefficients of x, y in one matrix. So 1 minus 3 represent it as delta. Next take it as delta x here replace the coefficients of x with the constants then find the determinant. Next find delta y replace the value of y coefficient that is 1 minus 3 with 1 and 4 again find the delta. To find the value of x it is delta x by delta to find the value of y it is delta y by delta. So for this problem it is 1 and minus 1. Next one a team of 8 players has to be selected from 14 players in how many ways can this be done if two particular players are always included. So you have 14 players, you have to choose two players. So here two persons are already included. Hence you need to choose only six persons from remaining 12 because from 14 or 8 already two persons are included. Hence the number of selection will be equal to 12C6. So find the value of 12C6 and write down. Next two particular players are always excluded. We have to remove 
2 person that is minus 2 then there will be only 12 persons from the 12 persons we need to select all the 8 players so therefore the number of selections will be 12 c8 find the value of 12 c8 and write down next problem one card is drawn at random from a pack of 52 cards find the probability that the card is face card either king or queen not an ace card a face cards represents queen jack and king so you have three cards in each set so therefore you will be having 12 cards in total 52 cards because probability is also number of favorable divided by total number of cases hence you have 12 cards out of 52 cards so cancelling this you will get the value as 2 by 3 next is either king or queen so if you want to choose king you cannot choose queen if you want to choose queen you cannot choose king hence it's a mutually exclusive events so therefore the probability will be the sum of king as well as queen so we have four king cards out of 52 four queen cards out of 52 so total it will be 8 by 52 on cancelling you will get the value as 2 by 13 so simplify the values completely and write down the correct answer next we have not an ace we know there are four ace card but we need the cards which is not ace so that is complement of the ace hence we need to find out 1 minus 4 by 52 because we know there are four cards out of 52 which are ace if we don't need ace cards then you have to subtract it from 1 so then you will get the answer as 12 by 13 after simplification next question Find the middle term in the expansion of a by x plus b x whole to the power 12. The value of n is 12 here. Whenever the value of n is e1, we have only one middle term. Whenever we have value of n as odd, we have two middle terms. So the formula to find the middle term is we have to use the formula of t r plus 1 is equal to n c r a to the power n minus r b to the power r we have the value of n as 12 here so again a as a by 6 b as bx but we need to find out what is r to find r we need to find out the middle term which term is the middle term so according to this we have a formula n by 2 plus 1 n is here 12 12 by 2 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7th term so therefore it is t7 T7 can be represented as T6 plus 1. Hence, the value of R here can be taken as 6. Substituting in the above formula, after evaluating this completely, we will get the answer as 12C6, A to the power 6, B power 6. This is the middle term of the expansion. Next one. Resolve x plus 1 by x minus 2, x minus 3 into partial fraction. So, this is a rational function. Since the factors are not repeating here, we can express it in the form of a by x minus 2 plus b by x minus 3. So, multiplying this term for both left hand side and right hand side, we get the equation like this. So, taking the individual factors, substituting it to 0, we will get the value of a as minus 3, b as 4. So, after completing it to the main equation here, then we have written the rational function in the form of two simple fractions that we have resolved. So, you have to write each steps required to find A and B and then substitute it back to the original equation. Next one, write the converse inverse contrapositive of the proposition. If questions are easy, then students score better marks. So, here we have two statements in the form of if then. So, conditional statements, questions are easy can be taken as P, student score better marks can be taken as Q. So, here they have given P implies Q. What is converse? It is Q implies P. That is right the vice versa of the statement. If students score better marks, then the questions are easy. What is inverse? Inverse is not P implies not Q. So, negate both the statement. If questions are not easy, then the students do not score better marks. So, contrapositive is negate Q implies negate P. So, this is the statement. First, write the second statement as 
not Q that is if students do not score better marks then these questions are not easy. So this is how we write converse, inverse and contrapositive. So hence one marks to each statement total three marks. Next one distribute 632 among A, B, C such that B gets 20% more than A and C gets 20% less than B. So this is purely the ratios in proportion. So analyze the situation and express it. They have given B gets 20% more than A. That is if A gets 100 then B have 120. Hence writing the ratio we will get it in the form of 5 is to 6. The next is given C gets 20% less than B. That is if B is 100 then C is 80. Convert them into ratio you will get B is to C as 5 is to 4. Now we need to find out the value of x here. So to write it in the form of a is to b is to c we need the b term to be same. So for that purpose multiply 5 to the first multiply 6 to the second then you will get the ratio in the form of 25 is to 30 is to 24. The total sum is given that is 25x plus 30x plus 24x is equal to 62. On solving we will get x is equal to 8. Substitute back to get A as rupees 200, B as rupees 240, C has rupees 192. So write the steps needed to find out the value of X is equal to 8. Next one, the banker's gain on a certain bill due after 6 months at 4% interest per annum is rupees 20. Find the true discount, bill discount and face value of the bill. Now you should know the formulas to find out the particular value in the chapter bill discounting. Here we need to find out the true discount. So to find out the true discount here the banker's gain is given, the time is given and rate of interest is given. On solving using this formula we will get the true discount as rupees 1000. Next we need to find out the banker's discount or bill discount. So that is banker's discount is true discount plus banker's gain. So by adding these two we will get it as rupees 1020. Next we need to find out the face value. Using the formula of face value, substituting each value inside the formula on solving we will get it as rupees 51,000. Hence three marks to find out true discount, bill discount and face value. Next we have a question. Suraj held rupees 2100 of 3 percent stock. He sells it rupees 121 and invests the proceeds in 5 percent stock. Thereby his income increases by rupees 14. Find the market price of 5 percent stock. First we need to find out the amount required where he sells the stocks at rupees 121. That can be calculated. So it is 2100 into 121 divided by 100. Using the formula we can find the income that is it is divided by amount into cash. The new income is increased by 14. So therefore there will be a new amount. Hence here using the same formula for amount D by income into cash we will get the amount as rupees 165. Substitute the values required for each term then solve. The final answer is rupees 165. Hence the market price of 5 percent stock is rupees 165. Next one. Prove that sin 3a is equal to 3 sin a minus 4 sin cube a. I said one question from trigonometry that is maximum they will ask you to prove any multiple angle formula. So here I can express sin 3a as sin 2a plus a. So this using the formula of sin a plus b we can write this as sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. Again use the formula of sin 2a and cos 2a. Sin 2a in the form of 2 sin a cos a cos 2a in the form of 1 minus 2 sin square a. Using those two problems and multiplying and evaluating we will get this step sin a minus 2 sin cube a plus 2 sin a minus 2 sin cube a. Hence we will get the result as 3 sin a minus 4 sin cube a. Next one find the equation of a circle whose center is same as the circle x square plus y square plus 6x plus 2y plus 1 is equal to 0 and passing through the point minus 2 comma minus 1. Since the circle is passing with the same center, they are concentric circles. That means the center is same, only the constant changes. Hence, let the equation of the circle be x square plus y square plus 6x plus 2y plus k. 
because only the value of C changes in concentric circles. Now, since the circle is passing through the point minus 2 comma minus 1 here, so substitute the value of x as minus 2, y as minus 1 in the equation, then you will get this. So, from this you can find the value of k is equal to 9, substitute back the value of k is 9. So, this is the required equation of the circle. Next one, find k if the function f of x is e to the power 2x minus 1 divided by x where x is not equal to 0, k if x is 0 is continuous at x is equal to 0. So, given the function is continuous at x is equal to 0, that means limit as x tends to, so here the limit must be taken in the form of 0, f of x will be equal to f of 0. So, limit of the function f of x is e to the power 2x minus 1 by x. But here we know the standard limit, limit as x tends to 0, e to the power x minus 1 by x can be taken as 1. But here we have 2x. So, for that purpose, I will multiply 2 and divide it by 2 here. So, therefore, I can separate this function and if you apply the limit for this function, this is 1 into 2 which becomes 2. So, here we have limit f of x is equal to f of 0. So, the value of here, this is equal to 2 and f of 0 is nothing but k. So, therefore, we can write k as 2. So, write down the proper steps required to solve the particular problem. If x power y is equal to y power x, find dy by dx. So, we have a function in an exponential form. So, to remove the exponents, we need to apply log on both sides. So, therefore, if you apply log on both sides, you will get y log x is equal to x log y. Then apply the product rule. So, after applying the product rule, you will get the required step here. Rearrange to find dy by dx and the constant separately, then multiply and divide by e equation. So, you will get dy by dx as y x log y minus y x y log x minus x. So, this is the derivative of the given function. Next one, if dy by dx is x is equal to e power 2t, y is equal to log 2t plus 1, find dy by dx. So, to find dy by dx, whenever the parametric functions are given, it is always dy by dt divided by dx by dt. So, using the formula, first find dy by dt, dx by dt. So, x is e power 2t, which can be written as 2 e power 2t. Log 2t plus 1 is 1 by 2t plus 1 into t after deriving it. So, substituting the solution, we will get the equation as 1 divided by e power 2t divided by 2t plus 1. Next one, Find the maximum and minimum value of f of x is equal to x cube minus 3x. So, here to find the maximum and minimum value, first we need to find out the first derivative dy by dx or f dash of x. So, f dash of x must be equated to 0 to find the value of x. After finding the value of x, that is the critical points, then find the second order. Second order is after deriving, you will get it as 6x. Find the value at x is equal to 1 and x is equal to minus 1, whether it is maximum or minimum. At x is equal to 1, f dash of 1 is positive, hence it attains minima. So, what is the minimum value at x is equal to 1? Put x is equal to 1 in the function. So, it is 1 cube minus 3 into 1. So, you will get the minima as minus 2. Next, at x is equal to minus 1, the function or the second order derivative is negative. That means it attains maxima. So, find the value of the function at x is equal to minus 1. Substitute x is equal to minus 1 here. You will get the maxima as f of minus 1 as 2. So, this is the maximum and minimum value of the given function. Evaluate integral of 4x plus y divided by x minus 1 x plus 2 into dx. So, since the given question is in the form of a rational function, we need to find out or express this in the form of two simple fraction. Then after finding the value of a and b, so write this value of the integral as two simple fraction, that is integrate them separately. We know that integral of 1 by ax plus b will be always 1 by a log of ax plus b. 
So therefore, here the value of a is 1 in both the terms. So it is 1 by 1 is 1. So log of ax plus b means it is log of x minus 1. Since 3 is a constant, write 3 outside. Here we have 1 by x plus 2 which can be written as log of x plus 2 plus integration constant. So first express this rational function as two simple fraction then integrate it separately. Next one evaluate integral of 1 divided by x into 2 log x plus y. So this is the integration by substitution method. So take this function as t. Derive the function you will get 2 log x is 1 by x. So it is 1 by x dx into dt. Now here 1 by x dx can be written as dt by 2. So you can separate 2 here 1 by x dx can be written as dt by 2. So replace it by dt by 2 here and this function can be written as t here. Take 1 by 2 outside integrate only dt by t. So integration of 1 by x dx is again log x. So therefore it is 1 by t into dt can be written as log t. So therefore it is half into log t plus c but the value of t is 2 log x plus 5. So replace back the value of the integral is 1 by 2, 2 log x plus 5 plus c. So these are the three marks questions from chapter wise you can expect from your question paper. We have solved problems according to the model question paper pattern. We will take the next part in the next session. Until then keep watching, keep learning, keep exploring. Thank you.